Lawmakers could be making changes to the statute of limitations for certain cases, including those involving victims of child abuse. In tonight's legal lens, Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal asks Brown and Crouppen's Andrea McNary what effect those proposed changes could have. Andrea, uh, so much happening right now in the Missouri Capitol. What are a couple of things that you're keeping your eyes on? So there's quite a few things going on. We might even have to do more than one of these segments, but the two I think we can discuss today are the statute of limitations reduction bill, which is Senate Bill 117, and the extension of statute of limitations for victims of childhood sexual abuse. What are the, the differences here between the two? So let's talk about the um, shortened statute of limitations one first. So currently, um, most personal injuries and various other causes of action have a statute of limitations of five years. This bill shortens to seek, uh, seeks to shorten it down to two years. Proponents of it says it eliminates frivolous lawsuits. Opponents of the bill say it actually increases uh, courtroom congestion because there's no time for any pre-suit investigation or pre-suit resolution before basically someone will be forced to uh, file a lawsuit. They also say it takes away your constitutional right to trial by jury and that there's other uh, causes of action in Missouri like medical malpractice where we've seen um, people harmed by such a short statute of limitations. And then the, uh, the other bill? So the sexual abuse bill seeks to extend the statute of limitations uh, to the age of 55 for victims of sexual abuse who were either minors or disabled at the time the abuse happens. It also seeks to revive the past statute of limitations for um, some causes of action that have been um, barred by our current short statute of limitation for this action. So proponents say that there's been so many of these cases and so much research at this point that scientifically we now know that uh, victims of childhood sexual abuse don't come forward to the average age of 52 years old. They also say that it's a public safety issue um, because if someone is kept from bringing these cases, the public doesn't then know um, or identify any childhood predators. Um, it shifts the cost to the abuser. And then finally, um, having these type of cases actually educates the public on how to identify these situations and, and keep their children safe. People against the lawsuit say that this would cause an increase in the number of lawsuits and that um, it would cause a congestion in the court system. Jeff Berthal, Fox 2 News. And as always, you can catch The Legal Lens on Fox 2 every Wednesday at 6 p.m.